Welcome back to another video and today we're going to do something a little different. It's not going to be a full CTF, it's going to just be a part of it and it's just going to be a privilege escalation. There's this new website I found called Attack Defense Labs. I'm not paid, sponsored, or getting any kind of benefit from sharing this with you guys. It's just something I think you guys may like. Um, there is three different levels to the set UID programs, one, two, and three. We're going to be doing number two first. It's ranked easy. I would start with the first one. It's ranked inter intermediate. But it wasn't loading for some reason, so we'll just start with this one. So knowing that it's a SUID vulnerability, I will find all the SUID files. So as you can see, that will bring up all the SUID files. But as you also can see, it has a bunch of junk on there that we don't want. That permission denied, no such file, things that just get in the way. So if we want to get rid of those, we can just comment them out with to dev null. And as you can see, it only brings back the things that are useful to us. So looking at this, one of them immediately jumps out to me. It's vim.tiny. All the other ones don't really stand out to me. I was looking at many of these over time. So I'm immediately going to see what I can do on this machine. So if I cat etc password, that works. Cat etc shadow file and permission denied. And so the shadow file has all the password hashes in there so if you can edit that you can eventually gain root and since vim is so here we'll see so as you can see it's owned by root but it's executable by everybody so what I can do here is I can do vim dot tiny etc shadow so as you can see we can access the shadow file but if we can put a new line in here with a new password, then we should be able to just sign in as root. So let's exit out of here and let's create a new root password. And we're doing that with open SSL. And we'll just make the password password. And that should be good to go. So as you can see, there's our new hashed password. So now if I go back to Vim, the shadow file, and edit it, I should be able to remove this star and paste our new password, save it, overwrite it, and quit. And now we do su root, password, password, we are root. Short video, I hope you guys learned something. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.